as we did in part one, um, I'm going to do another boot trace with boot viz. So you select trace, next boot plus driver delays, select OK, and just let the system reboot. After a few minutes, boot viz will come up and show you its results. I'll expand this here and scroll down to process creates. You can see that things are a little more lined up, but not quite where uh, we want them yet. In the next screen, I'll show you that I've taken the liberty of taking out some of this, the uh, programs I didn't want. But there's still a couple here that I don't really want starting up, such as Microsoft IntelliPoint software. Um, I didn't have much use for that. Another one is the Microsoft Core Service for uh, .NET Runtime Optimization. Um, keep in mind, though, that the, each trace, you're, you're going to see um, these programs starting up in different order and at different times. Some will take longer than others. But I find that uh, this tool pretty useful because it gives you a visual representation of what's going on when your system starts. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is run the system configuration utility. Uh, what you do is you type in MS config and then press OK. Go over to the startup tab. Now I don't have a lot in here. Some people might have a whole bunch of things in here. Just be careful what you check or uncheck. So I'm going to uncheck I point, click apply, close, and exit without restart because we're not done yet. So this time we're going to start run services.msc for Microsoft console. Uh, expand this a little bit. Look for .NET runtime optimization. Right click on that. Select properties. And you can see the core service executable here. Startup type. Instead of automatic, put it in manual. When you're done, click apply. And then OK. And if you've already done most of your Windows updates, uh, since they're mostly monthly, uh, you can uh, put that to manual as well. So do the same thing. Apply. And press OK. Close the box. If you're worried about that, um, just go back to control panel to turn it back on. Automatic updates. And then just check automatic. Okay, one final thing that's not necessary. Go to Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Computer Management, and then select Local Users and Groups. Then under Users, look for ASP.NET. Expand this a little bit. Okay, right click on that. Select Properties, leave the other checkboxes, and then check Account is Disabled. Hit Apply, then OK, then close the other boxes. When you reboot Windows, it will come up. System Configuration Utility will tell you that something's changed. Just check the box to don't show this again and press OK. So here we are. Um, the last boot trace I've done. Um, it's booted up fairly quick. Remember, this is a virtual machine, so it's going to boot a lot faster than a um, real-time computer. Um, but you can see that mostly everything is lined up, and this is pretty much what we wanted to do. So I hope you can make use of this, and uh, thank you very much for watching.